Today we're going to cook uh, Chef Field's Cove Clam Sauce. This is an old Roach family uh, recipe. Let the juice flow into the strainer. And then we'll have our clams and our juice. We'll take it right to the oven to make our sauce. Cooking up what we just caught. Doesn't get any fresher than this. And then once the garlic is nicely cooked, we're gonna go ahead and just add the clam juice right into it. It's simmering, I'm gonna go ahead and add about half a stick of butter, maybe a little bit more. Okay, we got the uh, clam sauce up to a nice light simmer. I've got some coarsely chopped parsley here and I'm just gonna add about, I don't know, a quarter of it. And let it simmer in there with the sauce. And I'm gonna go ahead and just add these clams right into the pot. And then I'm gonna add the rest of the parsley on top of that. Excuse me, pepper, a little bit of pepper. Just a touch of salt. Just a small amount of red pepper is fine. Remember, put the clams in in the very last minute because they don't really need to cook very long at all. Overcooked clams get very rubbery. Just to get everything spread out in there, doesn't that look good? That looks perfect. We're gonna go ahead and serve the clams onto the pasta and I like to have almost a soup in there, the pasta sauce. There's the finished product. There you go, guys. Wow. Enjoy. If you want more details about this recipe, you can go to the website, kettlebottom.com, and uh, we will have the full recipe there. And uh, enjoyed you coming. Uh, my w lovely wife baked us a nice strawberry rhubarb pie. And have a nice glass of Pinot Grigio to uh, accompany the uh, clam sauce. And that's what I call a meal. Enjoy.